almost every military satellite in the world has fallen into the hands of four very dangerous guys. We need someone who can move like them. And fight like them. It's time to be a patriot. There are no more patriots, just rebels and tyrants. So which are you? I'm Triple X. I'll introduce you to your ground team. All right, it comes Red Bull's poster child. I'm not gonna have clowns watch my back. Who would you trust? The good, the extreme, and the completely insane. Now that's a team I can work with. Here we go. It's refreshing. You actually know what you're doing down there. Yeah, that's what she said. <laughs> wow. These guys of yours are the real kind of trouble. You have no idea what you're up against. Whatever it is they're looking for, you're going to come up short. Does this mean you're not making me breakfast in the morning? We're willing to die to keep the world safe. How about you? I live for this. I guess we're on the same team now. You ready to have some fun? I go low. Aloha, this is Trinidad, your island man, coming to you once again live from Hawaii, here on Oahu, giving you the best movie reviews on the island of Oahu. Yes, Trinidad, the island man, your island man. Oh, also the wolf man, howly man, oh, the howling howly, oh. <laughs> and uh, this is my review for Triple X, The Return of Xander Cage. Now, a lot of people give Triple uh, X kind of a, 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 bad, uh, a bad rap. Uh, but, you know, in 2002 is when it came out. And you know what other movie also came out uh, during that time was The Born Identity. So, and what did both of these movies do but force the James Bond franchise to go ahead and re-innovate itself? to kind of reimagine itself and, in a way, copy, you know, uh, both Triple X and uh, The Born Identity. Now, of course, The Born Identity gets the most credit for that. Uh, you know, Daniel Craig came in, Casino Royale, he's a rougher, tougher, grittier Bond, not wearing that tuxedo so much, you know, unless he has to, and of course, in that movie he had to. But if you think back to Triple X, they have a British agent at the beginning of the movie that infiltrates um, Anarchy 99 is the uh, terrorist group, the Russian terrorist group that was associated, uh, that Xander Cage had to be hired and come in and, and defeat. And uh, this British agent in his tuxedo gets wasted because he couldn't blend in. And guess who that was supposed to represent? James Bond. And guess what James Bond ended up doing? He became grittier, uh, much like uh, Jason Bourne, mm, you know, but of course not to the extent of Xander Cage. That's the extreme, the triple X extreme. And uh, let me just uh, remind you, uh, our rating scale here, you know, shock a thumbs up, it's good to see, shock a thumbs down, it's bad to see, and it's junk. Well, I am glad to say it's shock a thumbs up for triple X, the return of Xander Cage, all the way. <sighs> That being said, there was a little, a uh, couple of glitchy moments with the CGI, um, you know, but, I mean, other than that, the story held together well. Uh, the characters, there were numerous characters, um, you know, but it didn't distract or detract uh, from the movie. You know, Triple X, the first one, had, uh, you know, just Xander Cage doing his thing, uh, you know, a couple of people here and there helping him out. But here you've got a whole group, 
just like Fast and Furious. And uh, whatever is going to happen with this uh, franchise after this, you know, I hope they keep these characters. I hope that they keep at least Donnie Yen. Because if, you know, if uh, Vin Diesel ever gets tired of this franchise, which, you know, I think after this one he's re-energized once again, and he's introduced all these characters, we could see selected uh, movies with just these certain characters. And Donnie Yen in this movie, he really shines. Uh, his action scenes, his martial arts, it's like... You know, there's a reason this guy's a superstar in China, and I can't believe it took him so long to, to get over here. You know, first Rogue One, and, you know, people might laugh at Triple X that he's in Triple X, but he's great in Triple X. He's fantastic. His stunt work, you know, his martial arts, the action, the overall action for this movie, it's on high octane. You know, just like the first Triple X, uh, you know, full disclosure, I never saw the second one. I saw parts of it, but, you know, I, I'm not a big fan of Ice Cube. I mean, you know, some of his movies I enjoy. Um, you know, Straight Outta Compton, of course, based on on his, his life and, you know, the other rappers there. But, uh, but... You know, I, I just couldn't I couldn't get into that that movie for some reason. And, you know, the fact that Vin Diesel turned it down, uh, you know, th there were problems with the script. But this one, you know, even Ice Cube comes back, as you've seen in the trailers, to help out. Because X takes care of its own. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, uh, the Triple X franchise, you know, not only helped out uh, James Bond... You know, uh, but, you know, think about it. You know, Augustus Gibbons, played by Samuel L. Jackson, the uh, head of this secret organization, pulling in teammates. You know, at the time, in 2002, I bet Samuel L. Jackson said, hey, this is probably as close to, uh, you know, Nick Fury as I'm ever going to get with the Avengers. And, uh, well, lo and behold, now he is Nick Fury, or he's been Nick Fury, and he's been in the Avengers, and now he's still doing the same thing. And, and that's it. That's the same thing. He was Nick Fury before he was Nick Fury, as he was Augustus Gibbons in this movie. Um, and, uh, you know, so there's a lot of players, a lot of diversity in this movie. I think it's going to go all the way and probably uh, do very well this uh this weekend. I think it's going to probably be the number one on the box office uh, chart uh, because of all the diverse characters in it. Uh, everybody has their own moment and chance to shine in the movie. Uh, so Vin Diesel really helped out there. And like I said, Donnie Yen's action is superb. His acting is great in this movie. Um, you know, at times, you know, maybe even better than Vin Diesel's. So uh, <laughs> that's why I said if, the, if this movie is going to, you know, if this franchise is going to move forward after this, of course, it's set up to do so. You know, the Triple X team is back. Uh, the program is in full swing again to save the world or at least... Uh, you know, prevent it from uh, falling uh, too far worse into the hands that uh, that may uh, be fooling around with it. But uh, but yeah, I mean, I could see Donnie Yen eventually taking over as frontman for this entire franchise if Vin Diesel wants to back off from it. But right now, I think this and Riddick and Fast and the Furious. You know, uh, I think he's he's got plenty on his plate. Um, but yeah, I would love to see more Donnie Yen in this. Uh, and I could definitely see like some solo adventures or at least more of him leading the team if, you know, Vin Diesel's busy. Um, so yes, again, shock a thumbs up all the way. Uh, if you've been waiting for a uh, popcorn action movie for January, wait no further. If you're biting at the bit, chomping at that bit uh, to see a good action movie, uh, as you're waiting for John Wick 2 in February, this is the movie to see, Triple X, Part 3, The Return of Xander Cage, shock a thumbs up all the way.